Welcome, I'm John Morgan with 2020, here to share with you tips and our How Did They Do That series from the Inspiration Awards Gallery. In this video, I want to focus on this cool alcove area that this designer created. How do you draw the walls, place the ceiling, and add the lights at the right height? If we move right to 2020, you'll see that I have already created the room itself. I've gone in, drawn the four walls, and set them at the right height. It's about 20 feet. You'll also notice that I've already drawn the alcove. Now, how did I do that? I actually drew the alcove just like I would draw any other wall. I went to room layout, clicked on continuous, and I drew a little U shape. Now, there is a difference between these walls and the perimeter walls. So if we take a quick look at the pr uh, perspective, you'll notice that the perimeter walls are much taller than the walls in the center. The reason is, is I have changed the height of those walls already, and when I drew this little um, U-shape area, I left the default at 96 inches. So let's go back and make an adjustment to that. The easiest way to adjust the height of the walls is to double click on the wall, It'll open up the properties, and if I wanted to change a wall, I could click on the wall, go right to height, and type in the new height. But I want to change all of the walls at once. I can do that by clicking on wall group. That means anything that I change will affect all three of the walls in that group. So if I go to height, I come down here to 96, I type in 120, I click apply, those walls are now 10 feet tall. Now I can also change the material. If we go back and take a quick look at the room, you'll see here that my material is a painted color that I've added, not the gray like the rest of the room, but the designer originally started with walls that have some sort of wood texture. Well, I can add wood textures too. If I go back to my plan, I simply make sure that I'm on wall group. I can go to material, I can click on browse, and if I click on browse, it takes me right into my textures area. You'll see here, user texture library. This is where you can import your own textures or you can always go to the catalog textures. Simply go to the generic ones in 2020, for instance, wood. I can choose from floor all the way down to work surfaces. I can click on the type of wood that I want and pick that wood and place that in the room. That's how the original designer did it. They either used our generics or went to user texture library and imported their own wood species to attach to the inside walls. Now, if I come back out of here, let's go ahead and cancel. We'll come back out and cancel again. Let's take a quick preview of our room and you'll notice that my interior walls are now taller. Still not as tall as the ceiling, but I did not want them to be. The next thing I need to do is I need to add a little ceiling to this. How do we do that? Let's go back to the plan. There is a catalog on the left-hand side of your screen under drag and drop. If I click on this arrow here and we give it a second to load my catalogs, you'll see that as I scroll up, there's a catalog called Room. If I go to the Room catalog, there's an area called Architectural Elements. If I choose Architectural Elements and I scroll down, there's a feature called Custom Shape and I can either place custom shapes on the floor or on the walls. I'm actually gonna choose a floor custom shape and I'm going to drag over a cube and place it right here. It's just a rectangle, three-dimensional. If I were to double click on this, I can open it up and you'll see a preview of it. And right here, you'll see the width, height, and depth. Let's make some quick changes to that. So let's go to the width and we're gonna say the width of this is going to be 105 inches. Now, where did I get the 105 from? Here's what I did. I actually added the 96 inch overall interior width to a four and a half inch wall on this side, and a four and a half inch wall on that side. That's how I got the 105. The height, I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna make it only six inches high. The depth, well, the depth is going to be the distance from here to here. Right now that says 36 inches. But if I add, again, the four and a half inch wall in the back so it covers everything, that is going to leave me at a depth of 40.5. I'll go ahead and click apply. And I now have a ceiling that I can place on top of my room. Now, if I wanted to make that the same wood texture, I can always go to my variables. I can always click on texture and apply the wood texture just as the original designer did. Next. 
I need to take the ceiling and I need to raise it so that it sits on top of the walls. Because right now it is sitting on the floor. I raise it by right clicking. I choose up down. When I go to up down, I'm going to raise it to 120 inches. Why? That's the height that I raised the walls to in the very beginning. So I want this to sit on top. I'll then take this, I'll drag it into place, I'll let the auto snap work so it snaps exactly where I want it, and now I've placed my ceiling. Next up is placing the lights. Now we can find lights in multiple places. I like to actually use lights from the catalog just below room. It's called room furniture. So if I scroll down here, down my list, you'll see room furniture. Now you'll see a big note in your room furniture catalog talking about most of these shapes have actually shifted to our cloud catalogs on the right. Lighting fixtures are still in this catalog. They will eventually shift to the 2020 cloud catalogs as well. Now let me double click on lighting fixtures. We're going to scroll down and I'm going to choose a recessed light and I'm simply going to take a light and I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it in the middle of my plan. Now I can take this light and I can modify it. Let's say we take the light by right clicking on it. We'll go down to light properties and under light properties, I'm going to make this really bright so it shows up in our perspective. I'll go to intensity, which is 20 watts. Let's say we jump that up to 100 watts. Profile, that actually determines the light dispersion patterns. We have lots of different patterns. For instance, I could choose uh, tight focused, which will shine it straight down, but this is pretty high in the ceiling. So I'm gonna go over here and choose just area light so it spreads the light out a little bit more. Next, I can take this light, right click. I can choose duplicate. I can place this. So let's say we slide one to here. Let's say we right click on that again and we duplicate it. So we'll say duplicate, left click on the plan. I'll slide the next light over to here. One of the things I like to do is zoom in, that helps. And then I'll take the last light and I will zoom over, let's say we place it here. I can always grab hold of these and adjust them if I need to. Okay, now next I need to place these at the right height. Let's say we go back and we take a look. I just placed three lights, but if you look inside of my alcove, there are no lights there. The only lights we see are the lights coming in through the windows. If we go back to the plan, the way we adjust the lights, where they are in the room is exactly the way we place the ceiling. We right click on a light, we highlight it, we go down to up down. You'll see that it placed it at 215 and a half inches. I need to place that at 180 and a half inches. I'm going to place it just below the ceiling so it's not in the ceiling. You'll see a little bit of the light below the ceiling. We'll go ahead and we'll click OK. I'll do the same thing with this light. We'll highlight it. We'll go to up down. I will type in 118.5. Click OK. And then I'll go to our last light. Click on it. Highlight it. Go to up down. 118.5. We'll go ahead and we'll click OK. And if we now go back and take a look, you'll see that our lights have now been placed in the ceiling and you see the light dispersion patterns from the lights themselves. We also notice that the ceiling's there. Hey, the ceiling doesn't match my walls yet. I skipped that step. I can always go back anytime I want. I can right click on that ceiling, highlight it, go into its attributes, We'll pop back over here to variables. I'll click on the texture for the, for the ceiling. Simply move over to the texture library. These are all already textures that I've used. I had used this texture before. We'll go ahead and we'll click OK. When I click OK again, if we come back and take one last look, you'll see now that my ceiling matches the walls of my alcove. And if I zoom in just a little bit and we'll tilt up, you can see the lights at the top of our room. Thanks for joining me and please check out the other helpful videos in this series. For other great ideas, tips, and inspiration, please join us at 2020spaces.com forward slash community.